Hey guys, today we are making a cake. I'm just so excited. I love baking cakes and this just makes me happy. He's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. This is going to look amazing. It's going to be a American flag cake. We are making a super moist French vanilla cake. We are using this cake mold for our wonderful layers. Angled spatula, well tin. Little like piping set, sweet creations. Cake leveler, well tin. Icing smoother, well tin. Turntable, well tin. And little like, I don't know, thing to put your cake. I'm not sure if it's Wilton, but I got it at Walmart, so. So this is how they look. They're pretty small, honestly. They're like my hand size, but it's the only thing I have. So we got my colors, we got this red, and then we got this like assortment food color and egg dye and blue. So that's what we're gonna use. So as you saw, I tried to mix the living, I tried to mix these a lot and they just still wouldn't get blue and red. This one looks more like pink this one looks like a pastel blue. So honestly, we're probably just gonna make a pastel red and blue flag cake. It's hard to see, but the cakes are in the oven. That's the blue one and then those are the red. And we're just gonna leave it for 18 minutes. And then if we need to add more time, we will, but yeah. Happy 4th of July, so it is the next day. The cakes actually were supposed to go in the fridge, but my stupid self left them up here laying on the counter with um, saran wrap over them. So they're like literally super moist. So I had to put them in the fridge. And while they do that, we are going to make the cream cheese frosting. I'm just doing a recipe from online. I'll link it down below. So I decided to put on a little apron. This one is just one I found. So, since we are doing a cream cheese frosting, we obviously need some cream cheese. Cream cheese. Um, this is just an eight ounce pack. So, as you saw, we made the buttercream, the the cream cheese frosting and we don't have enough because this time I have to put a generous amount in the middle so I'm just like we don't have enough powdered sugar to make more we do have cream cheese we do have butter but I knew we should have bought more powdered sugar but anywho we are going to do with what we have and hope this turns out decently but anywho the cakes are still in the fridge because like I said they were really moist since I stupidly left them up here, we're taught. And so we're just gonna wait. There's really nothing to do now. So yeah, I'll be back when they are not moist. Okay. Oh yeah, that's way better. So you're gonna see more of the cakes and not my face, just so you can kind of see what I'm doing here. But first, we're just gonna grab a tiniest bit of cream cheese frosting, and you wanna put it where it says Wilton, or right here in the middle. And then you also wanna put a tiny bit on here. So the cake doesn't move. Okay, so we are first just gonna do our first cakes, and then we will show you how we're gonna make the flag.
So now we're going to do the fun part. Basically, what we're going to do is cut out a hole um, about this size. Actually, this is a bit small. So we're going to find something bigger. But we're basically just going to cut a hole out of the last pink one and the last blue one. And then we're going to kind of put them inside each other. So the red is going to go inside the blue. So yeah. So we're going to use this object and we're just going to kind of make a little line okay we're gonna try to take the blue out perfect now we're gonna put this on the cake you're gonna grab some buttercream some cream cheese and you're gonna put it on the sides of the blue So this is how the cake is looking. We are going to do a crumb coat. If you don't know what a crumb coat is, you basically put the thinnest amount of icing on the sides and then we're gonna put it back in the fridge. I'm gonna put in the one downstairs for about 15 minutes or as long as you can leave it. And then that's when you do your final icing. We, I do actually have enough icing to cover this whole cake. Um. Okay guys, so I've been like down here for a hot like 10 minutes on TikTok waiting for it to cool even more. I feel like the more it cools the better. But I I don't care. We're taking it out. I I don't care. If this were to fall like okay, I should not say anything cuz I'm going to just jinx it. It's going to fall if I say it. This is our cake. So what we're going to do is apply more frosting and then we're going to smooth it with our cake smoother or our icing smoother. And then if we have extra frosting, we will decorate it. If not, what I might do is make crumbs with that cake and then put it on top. 